Hey, Dave Kelly with Head Games Motorworks. We are going to talk valve guides today. Check it out. So an issue I always see uh, is that people don't measure before they install. When I say measure, I'm talking about the outer diameter of a valve guide. A lot of guys will just order something. Uh, and this actually, this goes to the manufacturers too, that they will order a valve guide from the dealership and the dealership guide is a thousandth oversized. And then they make their valve guide another thousandth oversized. So now we're two thousandths oversized and you go to ram that valve guide in a cylinder head and you crack the cylinder head. How can you avoid that? I'm gonna show you. So super simple thing you can do here is just measure it. Now, I got a micrometer. Micrometer is actually the right way to measure it. Now, unfortunately, we have no oversized valve guides in the shop because, well, we don't use them anymore. We use manufacturers that only size their valve guide correctly. So, you can see this one is within a tenth, tenth of a thousandth uh, of the factory valve guide. These are two JZ valve guides, and this is two different manufacturers. You see they're within, they're within a tenth of each other. This is a little bit more closer to the factory size. Now, if the outer diameter is not correct, you are going to have some issues. It's going to be really hard to get them in. Now, this is mainly for you guys who are installing this stuff. I know a normal guy is not going to be able to install this stuff. But what would you do if it's oversized? Unfortunately, either A, you have to buy one that's not, or you have to stick them on the lathe. Now, let's talk some inner diameter stuff because I'm friends with the manufacturers and I hear some crazy things where people are concerned about the inner diameter before they've even installed the valve guide. So people are really concerned, for whatever reason, that the inner diameter is a problem. Uh, when in reality, the biggest failure is gonna come from your outside diameter when you install it, or when you look at this transition here, this taper here can actually pull metal as you're putting the valve guide in and create an, a, well, a completely different issue. Sometimes we like to just soften that, but the inner diameter is easily solved. Now, what somebody might do is they would take a valve and they would try to stick it in there and see, does it fit? Well, the inner diameter actually needs to be machined. You machine that with a reamer. A reamer or a hone, we can use both. You put the reamer in there and see how it's, it's a piloted reamer. So now the thing is all the way through so it goes straight and they would size that. Now different manufacturers are gonna have a different size hole. Now you can see the GSC guide. I was talking about the taper. See how the taper is very, very nice and smooth. So this is an easy, thanks Greg, he listens. So the inner diameter here is actually smaller than this one, right? So you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can get a valve in there and I can't get one in here. Oh, I almost get stuck, but it's no problem because we can stick our reamer in and get it to size. How would you measure it? Now you wouldn't measure it outside of the cylinder head. You'd actually measure it once the valve guide is installed because this is going to crush the inside once you install it because it's a press fit. So this is actually bigger than the hole and it'll press fit in there. That's why people say loose valve guides. It's almost impossible to do it nowadays. Um, and then you would take a tool like this and you would, and if you don't have the money for one of these, you can easily purchase one of these little gauges here and you can come in there, excuse the uh, rudimentary looking here, but you just open this up and then you have to measure it with your micrometer. You would measure here, boop, 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 like that, right? You measure your valve guide or you can even use your caliper and try to figure out what size you are. See, we're at 236 and you, you do is, you measure the valve, we're at 234. The guide's already at 236, so you have 2,000 worth of clearance, but that would actually close up. All right, so we're gonna put a link somewhere because it, we actually have another video that is kind of similar to this, but it goes more in depth of how we size it, how we install it, because you know you get the air hammer and the driver and all that stuff. We're not gonna go over all that today. 
What we only wanted to make sure is that you understand that the outside diameter is much more important for install because you can crack your cylinder head than the inner diameter because the inner diameter is something you're in a machine and you're going to size anyhow. Big thanks to Boya Built for the idea on this video. I know it's something that we wanted to talk about and he actually experienced uh, something that, well, actually we did too. We have cracked a couple cylinder heads because this is back many, many years ago. We didn't measure the valve guide before installation. So you need to measure the valve guide before you install it. You take the valve guide out, you measure it, and then you measure the new one. That's something that we didn't do. He had the same problem, cracked a couple cylinder heads. He wrote on our YouTube, hey, I want to see that. Here you are. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Toodles.